four high definition cameras, two stereo microphones, one digital audio recorder, all on one bike. Role play, boldly going where no quiz show has gone before. Music or monuments? Monuments. The following questions have to do with New York landmarks and monuments. Answer four of the five questions correctly and you win $100. Woo! $100 is coming my way. What is the name of the upscale urban food court in the meatpacking district that was built in the old Nabisco factory? Food court, wow. Chelsea Market. You got it, one for one. Ding, 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 ding. Nice. <laughs> Patience and fortitude are the names of the majestic marble lions that stand proudly in front of what popular public building in New York City? New York City Public Library. Two for two. Bing, 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 bing. Two for two. In Kay Thompson's popular children's book series, in which landmark hotel does the precocious Eloise live? The Plaza. How'd you know that? From my kids. <laughs> they watch the movie, I read them the books at home with Eloise, so. Thank you, girls. Good three for three. If you get this one right, okay. you win $100. All right. If you're stumped, yes. you get one shout out. You can ask anyone around you for help. Okay. When this unusually shaped structure was completed back in 1902, it was named the Fuller Building, but it now shares its name with a cut of beef. What's the name of this building? Oh. You get a shout out. Can you help me out? I don't want to put any pressure on you, but if we get this question right, I get $100. No kidding! Yeah, yeah. When this unusually shaped structure was completed back in 1902, it was named the Fuller Building, but it now shares its name with a cut of beef. What's the name of this building? Flatiron. She's right. $100! You're welcome. You made my day. Thank you, Roleplay. Mwah.